Hello, and thank you for taking time to watch the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast for today, Tuesday, December the 10th, 2013. And as always, thank you for watching, retweeting, posting, subscribing, doing all that fun social media stuff that we do to build a quality community around the world and bring as much light and high vibration as we can. So today is the 10th of the month. And the 10, or number 10, is our wheel card in Tara. And oftentimes when I'm reading, that can be, you know, simply about kind of, sometimes it's about the rat race, sometimes it's about the monotony of things, sometimes it's spinning your wheels and just staying in place. It can also be about just the, you know, the revolving of the earth, the sun comes up, the sun goes down, just the nature of life. It also boils down to number one which is about beginnings, which is our magician. Our magician has everything he needs. He has one of one suit, you know, of, uh, one of each of the suits, the cups, the wands, the swords, and uh, the pentacles in front of him, ready to go in his satchel, in his bag, in his, on his desk, however your cards show that. So those two, they, they kind of feel good um, together in a sense, and I'm about to sneeze. I'm gonna hold it. <coughs> <coughs> been a few days since I've done that. I always look at it as a release. So um, very interesting, you know, energy for today. So and I can feel the wheel as like just kind of the turning of the earth, you know, just that that. OK, it's going to be kind of just an ordinary or an ordinary day. Um, I do want to talk about interesting. I got a, um, uh, a message from someone on my page. I have, you know, Intuitive Messenger personal page and then the fan page. But I got a message from someone who I don't know and, and I'm not going to say their name anyway. But um, over the weekend I went out to, uh, and I believe it's pronounced Sangoma. Um, Shante McGalvin has um, her uh, facility out there. She's an herbalist and a healer and a coach. And um, she had her tea and talk time and she talked about you know, stress and the holidays and eating the colors of the rainbow. And then after we sipped our tea, I did tea leaf readings. So it was an amazing, wonderful morning. It was a great collaboration between the two of us and um, and the ladies that were there as well. But it's funny because I got a message on that page from someone that says uh, a Sangoma is a like a minion of the devil. And, and it was interesting because I was like, so I, what I did was I literally Wikipedia and I looked up what that meant. Um, because I, I'd known before because I'd asked Shantae before, but I kind of, I'd forgotten the details. And um, it, what the Wikipedia says or dictionary.com says is, um, you know, it's uh, a Zulu um, high priestess or a medicine woman. And, and I thought to myself, well, that's exactly what, you know, Shantae kind of is. She uses herbs and, and she's a coach and she's what, what, you know, I might be called a medicine man or medicine woman or a witch doctor or something like that. And the titles and those things, you know, I don't get hung up on that. But I thought to myself, so I copied and pasted that and I said, I said to this person, I said, well, here's what resonates with me, you know, uh, um, like a medicine woman. Um, and uh, the person responded back. And I usually don't get into this debate, but I, as I did it, I made sure, and this is why I'm telling this to you, I made sure I stayed in a place of high vibration because um, he, that person, I don't know if it was a he or not really, um, they responded back, how gullible you are. Because I said, well, here's the definition that resonates with me. And he, and then he, I think it was he, okay, I see it, it was he, I don't know. How gullible you are. And I just thought, well, you know, first of all, you know, you saying something's of the devil, devil does not fit into my belief system. I understand if it does. Um, for me, if someone uses the term devil, they're referring to, you know, they may be referring to an actual person, an entity or being that is definitely of lower vibration, you know, but I see it as all as energy. So if someone's referring to devil, I understand what they're talking about. I don't discount it. That's just not, I don't use that word so much in my belief system. There's Bart over there. Um, but but I just said, I said, well, first of all, the word devil doesn't fit into my belief system. Um, and that's when I came back with how gullible you are. And I just thought, and I just wrote back on staying. I wrote a few lines and I erased them because I was said, I'm going to stay in high vibration here. And I just said, I'm really shocked you would call me gullible. And and then I copied and pasted and I went and I showed Shantae that. And she actually said that same person um, had emailed her and she just blocked him. I thought, oh, that's right. I can block people. So I boom, I blocked him. <laughs> I just didn't want to deal with it. And um, but then they got one more post back in and it said, um, OK, brother. 
and that was it. And I thought, okay, I've stayed in my high vibration. Obviously, you know, they're going to let it go. But it was so interesting because I have not attracted that type of energy but maybe once in the last four years. And what I mean by that type of energy is someone kind of coming at me with their um, own religious belief system and trying to either change mine or warn me or say I'm doing something wrong in the sense. And that was one of the time I was reading a crystal book in a Starbucks and the woman, when she walked in, I was beep, 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 beep. I, I could tell right away. She sat down next to me um, within 10 minutes. She engaged me in some conversation and it's class. And for her, it was because I went through that. I understand it. it was classic that Christian kind of, well, let me make a connection. Well, let me, you know, build this connection. Well, let me witness, you know, because I've been there. I've done that. I know exactly what she was doing to me. And I thought to myself, huh, she just sees me read a book about crystals, which she thought was of the devil. And I thought to myself, should I tell her I'm a gay psychic as well? And I didn't because, again, I didn't want to step in that dense vibration, you know, and I stayed really high. But like I said, that was two times probably in the last four or five years that I felt any of that confrontation. And again, I believe it's because I keep myself high. Plus, I'm not looking for a fight. I'm not here to change anybody's opinion. I'm here to support the growth of everybody. So very interesting moment. Um, and I. Uh, like I said, it was, a, it was a moment for me to, to continue to stay in place of high vibration, which I'm glad that I did. So let me pull a card real quick for today to add on to the wheel and the magician energy. And that card for today is the Eight of Swords. So this card um, often will be about creating a web, a web of lies, a web of worries, um, a, a web of victimhood. Um, and swords are things that are mental, logical, of the mind. Um, air is the element, uh, so definitely a little bit higher up. Um, pretty fast moving as well. When I'm reading, oftentimes I'll, I'll say to people, you know, look at this card. She literally is caught in a web and she's just writhing there. But the funny thing is, is she has eight swords within her reach to cut herself down. You have the power and the ability to remove yourself from whatever situation you're in that you feel trapped. And that is a very simple message for today. So if you feel stuck with this wheel energy, if you feel like a magician, you, you, you don't quite believe you have everything and you don't know where to start, how to move, get going, because again, we're dealing with number ones, the movement, the forward movement. You know, you have the, the tools right in front of you to cut yourself down, to get yourself moving. So everything you need is right there. All that being said, thank you so very much. Oh, I got so excited yesterday. Um, the uh, Terra Professional Association that I'm part of, they sent out their um, uh, newsletter and uh, they had a house of life spread in there. And it was like the Kabbalah tree and using, you know, two cards to create, you know, where the struggle is and how to move forward out of it, out of these 10 cards. So, you know, you've heard of like Celtic Cross. There's different kinds of spreads. But I knew that Spirit was going to give me another, you know, special for the new year. And the moment I saw this spread, I was like, that's it. And the fun part is, is they literally, as I'm typing out, you know, to, to Tali, I said, thank you so much for this. I know exactly what this is going to be. It's going to be my new year dash new you YouTube special. So that will be coming out in January. You got to wait like three weeks now. But um, it's a really cool spread. And I will, you know, probably the last week in December, I'll start advertising for that. But um, I I'm, I'm will be doing that spread for myself today. <laughs> so I'll probably be talking about it tomorrow. So check out my YouTube specials and my um, 30 minute specials that are on the holiday specials on my website. And that is intuitivemessenger.org. Have an amazing day. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow night, Blog Talk Radio Show. It's just me. I feel like it's going to be a night of questions. And I feel like I'm going to be using just the Lenormand deck. And it's going to be like, what's your question? Here's your answer. Which I don't do that often. But I just keep feeling led to that. So we'll see what happens. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.